continuing our conversation with Twins legend Tony Oliva about baseball and Cuba, two topics he is very well versed on. Since you and a few others opened the door for so many young Cuban players to play in Major League Baseball, there have been a number of superstars who have moved on to the scene. Certainly right now, when you look at the Cuban connection in baseball, some of the biggest names in the game are a part of it. Uh, Kendris Morales, who was part of the Royals World Championship uh, stretch last year. Yuenes Cespedes of the Mets, Yasiel Puig of the Dodgers, Jose Abreu, who was here just a week ago. Yunel Escobar, born in Havana, had a terrific series against the Twins over the weekend. Tell us what these players go through and through the uh, defection process. Well, I think at first it has to be very, very hard for them to make that big decision because so they, let, they have to leave the family behind and they don't know what they could see the family. Uh, you know, my brother played for the Cuban national team for 10 years. He was a very good pitcher in Cuba. And there was a lot of great, great ball players in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s who not have the opportunity to play professional to come here to the United States. They have bet you that if those people have the chance that they will be a superstar here in America. But every set I get a little bit better, a little bit better. Yeah, I hope that pretty soon be able to, uh, they can come here legally and everything. Uh, it's going to be a lot better for everybody because uh, really they don't want to defend it that way. They want to come here legally and be able to travel in here and come back to Cuba back and forth because, uh, you know, America like Cuba and the Cuba like America, I think it's, uh, I hope that soon, soon be able to, uh, to be, you know, easy way to do it. Certainly heading in the right direction and that's uh, good news for folks in both countries. Tony Oliva, always a pleasure to have you with us uh, at any time. Twins legend and uh, one of our favorites, still beloved after all these years.